Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to listen to what the Lord is saying to us at this time. I really appreciate it very much. I will now go ahead and pray that our Lord and Savior have his way. Lord, I just ask that you draw us closer to you by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, that you will make a way out. You will make a way out of no way for us to meet our every need and to keep, guide, protect, provide, and instruct us continually along the way. Also to anoint our eyes to see what you're saying to us and our ears to hear what you are saying to us by your Holy Spirit. Have all of your way, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Okay, what I'm gonna, what he put on my heart, what the Holy Spirit had put on my heart to read to to um, the listeners is to put it out there on YouTube. He put on my heart um, the first First Peter chapter one verses one through fourteen and First Peter chapter three verses eight through twenty two. I will go ahead and begin. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. So that's Asia and Bithynia. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit, Unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Which according to his abundant mercy. Had begotten us again unto a lively hope. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled. And that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season. If need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than all of gold. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish it. Though, though it be tried with fire, might be found to praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ. Whom having not seen you love. In whom though now. You see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. When it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. And to whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us that did, but unto us they did minister the things which are not reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance. So that was First Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. So now I'm going to go over to 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 through 22. Thank you for your patience.
Finally, be you all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarize, contrary wise blessing, knowing that you are there until called that you should inherit a blessing. For he that would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no gal. Let him assure evil and do good. Let him seek peace and assure it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is it that and who is he that would harm you if you be followers of that which is good? But and if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are you and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse you, falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well doing than for evil doing. For Christ also had also suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickening by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prisons, in prison, which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the art was a preparing wherein few that is eight souls were saved by water wow which sometime were disobedient when once the long suffering of god waited in the days of noah noah while the ark was a preparing wherein few that is eight souls were saved by water the light figure wherein to even baptism do it also now save us not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. May God add a blessing to the reading of these words. And thank you for your time in Jesus' mighty name. Have a great and blessed day. Amen.